They don't even know how to spell continue right. Isn't that funny, Satan? Oh, shit. Got a game over. Oh. Oh, fuck. It was all just a dream. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh. What do you guys want? Seriously. The party is just getting started. Oh no! Not Monster Party! Whoa, look at that title screen. Only a face a mother can love. And the assortment of monsters behind it. What the heck is going on? This is such a weird game. All right, I need to watch the story cutscenes in order to figure out what the hell is going on with this title. It's already got me intrigued. I've heard things about it. People have been a little irate when it comes to this video game. So basically Mark, this Lego dude, is walking home one night with his baseball bat. When he sees a star that suddenly lands in front of him and is greeted by a monster whose name is Bert. Bert? What kind of monster name is that? What, what the hell is next? Elmo? Anyways, Bert tells us he's looking for help saving his planet and that Mark's bat is the weapon he needs. They then fly off and then fuse together? I know a demonic possession when I see one, guys. And that, my friends, is demonic possession. Anyways, let's begin. Holy shit, that is a lot of blood. Maybe I should be the thousandth reviewer on YouTube to mention this. Alright, so here's level one, and we can now control Mark. He has a bat swing, and he... Oh, Mark. Hold it together, kid! So we come across our first enemy. Some kung fu looking fuck. Doesn't look like a monster. Or party, for that matter. I think I've been lied to. And what the hell is this? Alright, going to enter this door and see what's inside. So we're greeted with a Venus flytrap that tells us, Hello, baby! Okay, this was unexpected. What is this, a video game or little shop of horrors? He shoots bubbles towards you and you could try to hit them, but fuck that. There's a much easier way to defeat this dude. Just jump up and beat the fuck out of him as fast as possible. Once you kill him, you get a question mark? Apparently these either give you health, points, and I don't know what the hell else. Oh, I, I forgot to mention, if you find a pill item in stages, you temporarily turn into Bert, who can shoot a fireball and fly. I guess it is kind of cool, but other than flying, I really prefer to attack his mark. His bat just seems much stronger. So throughout the levels, there are several doors, and your job is to find the bosses and defeat them until you get a key. Some of these rooms are randomly empty, and that's incredibly annoying to have to go through. This boss is dead. Yeah. So pretty much at this point, you can tell this game has a quirky sense of humor that you really didn't see too often in NES games at the time. I mean, this is strange. About midway through the first stage, you pass this cactus thing and everything just suddenly changes. Bloody skulls everywhere. All right, so this boss is a pumpkin who spins his head and shoots little pumpkins at you. Looks like I got the key. Now it's time to head out to the next level. Are you kidding me? One death is a game over? There's no extra lives in this fucking game? Holy shit, I gotta start over. All right, fuck this. I gotta make my way around carefully. The next level is in a sewer. The enemies are just as weird. We got fish dudes and big tongues. Fish and tongues. Sounds like a night with your mother. The first boss I come across is a Medusa snake that spits out little snakes at me. It gets even weirder by the second. You fight a shrimp in the next boss fight. Good thing I'm allergic. The next level is a cavern. Spikes fall from the ground. Weird ghosts and skeleton things attack. And you got these weird red umbrella enemies. Hey. This cave is just as weird as the past couple stages. We even have a minotaur that tells me to move it. And guess what? He shoots cows at you. I see what they did there. We also have an invisible man mummy thing, but fuck this guy. <laughs> oh, I said butt fuck. I know it seems like I'm skipping a lot of the game, but there's really not much difference in what you do every level. You look for doors, fight the enemies, get the key, and get the heck out. 
The next handful of stages feature a pyramid level complete with scorpions and a samurai boss who says, I am a slowpoke. No sir, this is a slowpoke. And perhaps the weirdest boss yet, a big rock and roll dude that tells me to face the music. Who's he think he is, Aerosmith? Oh fuck, I don't know how much longer I can stand playing this game. And you know what, as a matter of fact, this party fucking blows. I think it's time to get out of this joint. <laughs> Oh, oh, fuck. It was all just a dream. Hello? Hey, hey, Eric. Did you really think that you could escape from being exposed? <laughs> the fuck was in that pizza?